what is 527 rounded to the nearest hundred? Is it A, 520? Is it B, 500? Is it C, 530? Or is it D, 600? Well, let's start off by plotting the number 527 on the number line that we have here. So we have 500 as the lower number, lowest number on our number line, and we have 600 as our highest number on the number line. So each tick mark represents 10 spaces or 10 units. So we have 500, so the next tick mark would be 510, then 520, and then 530. So therefore, the number 527 is located right about here. And now if we compare how 527 is in relation to 500 and 600, we can see that 527 is definitely closer to 500, or answer choice B.